Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to talk about a class called file info. Um, so there's not, uh, there's a lot to talk about this class. Uh, let's get started by creating a simple example. So we're going to use file info. Remember to use the system.io. Let's call it fi equals new file info. And this requires a argument, which is a file. So I'm going to pass a we to use to at. Let's pass this file here. Oh, yeah, I don't have it more <laughs> anymore. So let's um, come back. I'm going to have a installer for VLC. And I think I'm going to co I'm going to copy this. Let's do that now. So I have this file. OK. Uh, and you can use this to kind of get properties for this file. So this is very convenient to work with files in C Sharp. So you guys can see that I can get the file name quite easily. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Um, you guys can see the, the file. We can get you can we can get the full name fe dot full name fe fi sorry guys I was speaking Portuguese for a moment uh, so this is the full path we can get the extension as well so that's lots of things that we can use this for so the extension is dot x that X, uh, we can get a boolean about if this file exists. So this is pretty cool uh, if you think if if we think about it, because this is, this can be very handy. We can get to files attributes, which is more related to the system itself. Let's call attributes. And each attributes you can see that is a is a archive. Okay, uh, we can go to creation day. That's a lot, lots of properties that this creation time. Um, you guys can see that we have the the date of this file, which was in um. 3rd of August and you guys can see that date that I probably downloaded that file So yeah, and we also can get the file so a file size which is I think the most important property so to get the size we need to divide this by uh, We need to do this a simple uh, simple let me <laughs> Go here simple uh, string formatting C sharp and fi dot length, which is the full length divided by 1024 will give us the size in kilobytes. So let's execute. And you guys can see that the this file size, the file of this size is 30,739 kilobytes, which is not that big, but still okay. So Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys this because we're going to use this quite soon in, in other videos. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.